When a disaster strikes, search and rescue dogs play a critical role in saving lives. And this weekend, dogs from all across the country traveled here to Indy to get certified. Our Mary Mills shows us the tests they've trained hundreds of hours for. Finesse and her partner Jen Brown are on a mission. They have 20 minutes to find or, in Finesse's case, sniff out up to four survivors, volunteers, hidden in a pile of rubble. Their every move is watched and scored. It's all part of the test canine search and rescue teams must pass to work for FEMA during real-life disasters. Indiana Task Force One has replicated a disaster site at this south side quarry. It's meant to look like a parking garage after an earthquake or a neighborhood after a tornado. We intentionally place this debris, whether it's concrete, metal, or wood. Uh, we make it as challenging as we can for the dogs when it comes to their footing and their stability. It's challenging for the volunteers as well who have to hide in places like this culvert, staying quiet and calm for several hours. First, when you get in, you're a little claustrophobic, and then, um, and then you just sit back and relax and wait for the dogs to start barking. The dog has to bark three times when a person is found. They're docked for a false alert because in a rescue, every minute counts. Roger Picard with Florida's Task Force 2 knows well. very first call out was to the World Trade Center. Um, being in Florida, we were sent to Katrina, to Haiti, to Hurricane Charlie's. He and his newest partner, Pilot, were here to get recertified, while Picard admits to being nervous. Of course you are. You know, it's a test. He says for Pilot and the other dogs, it's just a game of hide and seek. He thinks that the person up there that's hiding under all that concrete and debris and void spaces has his favorite toy. If he finds them and barks at them, they'll come out and play with them because that's what happens in training. And so that's it. It's For them, it's fun. For us, it's a mission of life and death. Of the 12 dogs that took the test this weekend, half passed, including Pilot and Finesse, meaning the next time they're searching in a pile of rubble, the stakes will be much higher. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. They are so impressive, aren't they? Well, as you saw, the search dogs test and train in the rain, just like they might have to do in a real disaster.